Hi guys, I'm trainer Amy Jo with Athlete XX for Women. Today we're doing a sit down chat. And uh, this question came about whether women should train and or eat differently based on their body type. So body types are, uh, they're compiled into three different um, three different uh, areas. We have a uh, ectomorph, which is you're a little bit leaner, uh, have a hard time building muscle mass, you have long, long limbs, uh, not as much uh, body fat and not as much muscle mass. Then you have the mesomorph, which is a little bit more rounder uh, muscle bellies. You build muscle mass well, uh, but that you know sometimes you can have a little more body fat too that you have to fight off. And then we have the endomorph which is, builds muscle mass well, but also uh, holds on to body fat uh, quite a bit as well. So there, we, there's three different kind of um, body types. Then you can kind of break it down into, are you pear-shaped, are you apple-shaped? Um, you know, what, what would you classify yourself as? And how would I answer this question? Yes, I do think um, that there is a, a different way to train and a different way to eat. Uh, based on your body type, but then again, it's all based off of um, you know your experimenting. So I think you really have to know uh, what have you done in the past. Some individuals might have you know trained drastically hard, and you know they need to have some. It's not working for them, so maybe they're overtraining, and they need to uh, take a look at that. Uh, also, uh, with someone who um, needs to add muscle mass, of course, they're going to have to not do as much. Um, you know, endurance exercise and cardiovascular exercise too as you're trying to add muscle mass. So, you know, take a client who um, is long and lean and, you know, maybe is 5'10", has long, lean legs, but wants to add some quads or some arms. They're going to have to put in a lot more work for weight training um, and eat according to that so they are adding enough muscle mass. If they incorporate too much cardio, they could potentially be using a lot of those calories for the endurance sport um, to go out and run a marathon, let's say, or to go out and do a, a 10K bike ride or, or um, you know, something that's a little, a little more um, endurance-based. And so they're gonna be using those, that, those calories and the, the protein grams to aid recovery for that versus to aid uh, you know, recovery for weightlifting and weight training, adding enough muscle mass, because it takes calories to add muscle mass. It takes calories and it takes a hard uh, weight training, enough pressure, uh, tension on the muscle. So someone who has the longer, leaner you know, look, but want has their goal of trying to increase muscle mass, yes, they would need to train a little differently than someone who, let's say, you know, puts on muscle mass uh, pretty easily. So, um, you know, if you're the type that has a lot of muscle mass or you feel like you build muscle mass well and you've got a lot of body fat at the same time, you're going to want to lift heavy still. It's not that you want to necessarily lighten your weight, but you're just going to have to focus on your nutrition a little bit, a little bit more um, in making sure that you're getting a deficit versus an overconsumption of calories to add more muscle mass. So, uh, ca uh, and cardio is a, is a big piece as well, making sure that you know, you're getting enough uh, heart rate to burn calories if you are trying to lose body fat. So, um, you know, eating and training, it goes hand in hand. Um, you know, first of all, I'd say it depends on your goal. So whoever you are, what's your goal? You have to answer that first. What are you trying to achieve? What's the purpose? And if it's you're working out just to stay healthy and just to feel good and feel fit, then you know your training program and your eating program should reflect that. So then that's when we make uh, healthy choices, getting enough protein, getting enough fiber, eating enough fruits and vegetables, and you know picking exercises um, and workouts that you enjoy if that's your main focus and goal. But then we have other women who definitely you know want to look a certain way, feel a certain way, look in their clothes a certain way. So then it becomes a little bit more particular about how your training program reflects that and how your nutrition program reflects that. So I think it's through trial and error. You want to follow a program for at least six weeks, uh, six to eight weeks before you can say this is working for me or not. Um, the body adapts at that point as well. So I think it's smart to give it some time and then you can reflect and say, okay, this is what this exact program has done for me for the six to eight weeks. And then you can manipulate it from there. 
Um, it's still individual though, and experimentation is critical as you learn about as you learn about your body. So um, my tips are to uh, give it a trial and error, six to eight weeks. Follow a great program, a lifting program, a nutrition program, and stick to it. And then at the end of the six to eight weeks, reevaluate is uh, is my my best advice. So leave us a uh, comment below if you have further questions of how we can help you progress with your goals um, using your body type and trying to achieve what you're after. We're all for it. So we're a community here, a family, and we'd love to continue to help you uh, get you customized results through training and proper nutrition. Thanks for joining me. I'm trainer Amy Joe, and we'll see you at our next sit down. Bye-bye.